Hello everyone and welcome to another Transformers review. Today we're going to be having a look at the War for Cybertron Siege Decepticon Rumble or Frenzy and Ratbat 2 pack. Uh, now I'm a big fan of Sound Blaster. I absolutely love the Headmaster's Japanese cartoon. Uh, so I will hopefully at some point be getting him, um, you know, the, the repaint of, uh, of this guy. Uh, if not, I'll just buy another one of these and paint him up because I can only find him on a few places and he's ridiculously expensive for some reason. Anyway, that aside, I really needed these two and I couldn't find them anywhere, which was really frustrating. So I ended up getting them from a seller I trust over on AliExpress. Uh, they did end up being about the same price as retail over here, so I'm really happy. Right, so I'm sorry about the glare. It's quite bad, but I don't know how to show it. Let's see if I can get them a little bit further. Oh, here we go. There you go. You get a good look at the pair of them there in the packaging. Uh, it's the same window box packaging. Um, well, not window box, it's clamshell, isn't it? My mistake. Uh, clamshell packaging, all of the other ones of these um, cassette bots have come in. So, nothing really different there. Nice artwork at the top. I always like these artworks. Um, this box is a bit bad, because like I say, it came from China. So, um, yeah, they don't always turn up in perfect condition. So, then we've got the uh, product shots on the back there. Um, for some reason they've got him with spinner stuff. Oh, no idea. There's all the usual gubbins on the back. And, yeah, so that's it. So that's a look at them in the box. I will take them out and we can have a closer look at them. So I'll be right back. Right. I thought I'd start off with these little guys in that alt mode. So let me take and wrap that off to the side for a minute and let's have a closer look at Rumble. Uh, now I am going to refer to this as Rumble because I'm, as I said, a fan of the Japanese Headmasters cartoon. So to me this is Rumble and it's easier because it's on his package. So let's get in as close as we can. There we go. You can't see much from this side but when you flip him over it's visible everything. There's nothing left to the imagination there. It's, although it's quite funny because from this angle it does rather look like he's punching himself in the head. So, yeah. I mean, it does the job. Um, I'll bring in Soundwave in a minute and we'll, uh, we'll pop the cassettes in and have a little look, see what they look like. Uh, they do fit because they're all the same size and obviously Sound Blaster is a recolour of Soundwave so there's not going to be much difference there. Well, that's what he looks like in his cassette mode. See a little bit of detailing down there. What will be his legs there and there. But other than that, there's not really very much else to talk about in this mode. So let's pop him off to the side and let's have a closer look at Ratbat. There we go. Um, this doesn't really pull off a cassette mode very convincingly. I don't think. It's kind of sort of in the right sort of area, but not really much to go on. Sorry about that. Um, and if we bring Rumble back in, if I can hold him, I keep dropping him. It's clearly less rectangular than this. So, so you can see a few details. It's got some nice silver detailing going on here. And this gold here on what will be his jets. I will say the moulding is very nice. It's very crisp. On something so small, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. And oh look, yep, yeah, you can clearly see what he is there. Yeah. Neither of those modes very convincing. Or neither of those sides, I should say, very convincing as a cassette. Doesn't even have any cassette detailing on this side. At least they tried that with Rumble, even though it's on his front. At least he does kind of look like a cassette. You know, he's got the, got the spools here. So, 
Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's fiddle about with the camera a bit. Um, now I'll tell you what, I'll do the uh, I'll do the transformations first, and then we'll have a look at him with look at them with Soundwave in a minute. So let's let's start here with wrap that. So you just you pull his wings down. Like that out, and then his head is on a double hinge, so you have to rock it forwards. That really doesn't want to go. Proper. There we go, that's got it. There we go. And then you flip down his little feet. Teeny wee little feet. That's what I say to my cats. Little feet, because I'm mad. So there we go. Now that mode does look a lot better. I do like this. I mean, I'm not going to display them in the cassette modes anyway. They're going to all be displayed in their alt modes. So, and there you can see there. You can see that the jets now sort of line up with his feet. So that's uh, that's quite good. It's very nice. I like the colour as well. The colour of this is really nice. It's a very... It's a deep purple. It comes off a bit more lilac because of the lighting I've got here, but it is a, a more deep purple. It's really nice. Right, so let's have a look at Rumble. And uh, his transformation also not massively taxing. So you just pull the feet out and the legs out, rotate, out, rotate. And then you take his arms, and these are on a hinge as well, and you just pull them down. And the same this way. There we go. And there you go. You can see he's got um, he's got some little hands moulded in here. You can't put anything in them because they're just far too small. But uh, yeah, again, like Ratbat, this is a much more convincing mode. It is, it is quite blocky. Um, it's, I mean, you know who it is, but the actual blockiness of it, it's, I mean, it's so small, isn't it? It's it's smaller than the um, the masterpiece ones. I don't have a masterpiece one to hand, but I'll tell you what. Let me bring in because I do have to hand. There's breakdowns arms micron. So if you've seen my breakdown review. He's not going to ride him. <laughs> I thought that would be funny if I could get him to ride the Micron. Come on, this is doable. This is doable. I can get him on there. I can get him on there. No, I can't. I can't get him on there. Anyway, that's just me being daft. Sorry, I'm having one of those days today. But yeah, uh, yeah, he's nice. He's okay. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look at them together. Uh, I don't know how well Ratbat is going to stand without leaning on his own wings. Uh, there we go. Just about get him to, to stand there. So, yeah, they do look quite nice. Right, I'll just pause for a second while I bring sound wave in because I need to rearrange my camera. So, I'll be right back. Right, so here's sound wave all ready to accept his minions. Um, yeah, this is slightly disappointing. I just tried this off camera and Ratbat will go in, but you really have to force him in. I'm not going to close it because I can't get it back open without getting something in there to pry the door open. Um, because you can see, it's that's really tight. It will go, but it does make it awkward for getting him out again. Um, so Ratbat's not much cop. Um, Rumble will go in a lot easier, but again, it's a bit tight. And just like Ratbat, he got stuck in there. I had to prise it out with uh, with a knife. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I don't know if it's some sort of well, it can't be mold degradation because these were the first ones, weren't they? So it can't be that. 
I don't know, maybe they've made sound blaster just a little bit wider here, perhaps. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, they, they don't they don't really fit, which is a bit of a shame. But that having been said, um, it, it's like I said just now, I'm not going to display them inside Sound Blaster anyway. So, well, I mean, certainly not this one because um, you know, what's going on here now? Rotate because this is Soundwave's minion. But uh, in the case of Rumbler. Uh, Rat bat anyway. I won't be displaying him inside Sound Blaster when I eventually get him. Um, final thoughts then. Yeah, um, they're okay. You know, they're not incredible. Oh, I'll do this this way again. That's that's quite tight on that double joint there. Um, they're all right. I know that. You, there's not much they can do at this size scale. I mean, they are very small, um, obviously. He's not going to stand up again. He just does not want to stand up. Stand up, darn you, stand. All right, lay down. Lay down. Um, yeah, they're okay. They're good. They're good little figures. Um, I would have maybe liked them to be slightly less blocky especially rumble here but yeah they're okay for what they are um, if you're having difficulty finding them and you want them to, now this one won't stand up there we go uh, do let me know in the comments down below because I can uh, I can show you the store that I got them from very re reputable store uh, on Aliexpress that I've used a number of times over the last few years uh, otherwise, I don't know, eBay maybe, because I haven't seen them out in the wild. I haven't seen any of these things out in the wild since the first wave uh, turned up in my local entertainer, and that was the beginning of 2019, so, yeah. Anyway, quite happy with them. Shame they don't fit in, uh, well, they certainly don't fit in Soundwave anyway, but yeah, nice. If you like, if you like cassette bots. I think you'll probably quite like these, even <laughs> if they don't want to stand up. All right. Okay, that's it for me for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye. Fingers on plastic.